Members are meeting once again to discuss a plan to deal with coyotes. Our Simone Jameson joins us live from Fairfield and breaks it all down for us. Yeah, good evening, Rob. Tonight was the second reading for the Coyote Management Plan Fairfield City Leaders drafted in late February. It's one that encourages homeowners to trap and kill the coyotes themselves and monitor their pets 24-7. Those plans tonight were once again met with mixed reviews. Unfortunately, I haven't seen any level of balance in this so far. Dozens of Fairfield residents voicing concern and frustration about a comprehensive coyote management plan Fairfield City Leaders drafted in late February. The plan encourages homeowners to eliminate hiding places for coyotes and to monitor their pets 24 7. The plan also calls for community members to form hazing teams to make the coyotes feel unwelcome, whether it's by using blowhorns or paintball guns. The keys with hazing are it must be active and it must be sustained for a period of time to achieve the desired outcome. Some residents in disagreement with the plan believe it puts too much burden of eliminating Fairfield's coyote problem on homeowners. I called a lot of professionals in the last two weeks. Most won't do it, okay? And for the ones that will do it, most of them said it's $1,000 up front. Some other residents who agree with some facets of the plan believe there's room for improvement. I'm just afraid the incidences are going to get worse, worse, and worse. It's almost like they're not afraid. I think the training and the hazing, all residents really have to be involved here. We need to keep track of the sightings so we know where they are so we can go in and exterminate them. Your parks are closed at night. Your golf course is closed at night. We could go in and do some damage. Others pleading for city leaders to consider forming a citizen's task force and expanding education, something city leaders say they plan to incorporate. The city's plan, as outlined in the Coyote Management Plan, would be to host educational events throughout the year. What we would then try to do is gather that data, analyze it in those steps as outlined in the plan, and determine what action needs to be applied. And then Coyote. So if you go to our website, government services... And city leaders did emphasize that these plans are fluid and that they're going to try to incorporate as many ideas presented tonight as possible before finalizing that plan. The third and final reading for this is expected to take place March 27th at 7 p.m. Live in Fairfield, Simone Jameson, Fox 19 Now. Simone, thank you. There's a live look at downtown Cincinnati where we saw a